Hi, this is a shout out to the Michigan Democrat Party. I was on the phone with you guys yesterday. You asked me, am I gonna support Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, and the down ticket? And then I asked you guys if you could explain to me why Joe Biden said African Americans don't have diverse thoughts. And you told me that you hadn't you weren't familiar with that clip. And I also asked, why did Joe Biden lie in a church, a house of God, to black voters about marching in the civil rights movement? And then they said, I'm not familiar with that clip either, getting a bit testy. And I said, well, that's interesting because CNN also, you know, mentioned it and they did say, hey, he didn't march in the civil rights. So that was at least on CNN. And so I wanted to give you guys the opportunity to watch this video. Yes. And by the way, what you all know, but most people don't know, unlike the African-American community, with notable exceptions, the Latino community is an incredibly diverse community with incredibly different attitudes about different things. You know, when I was a teenager in Delaware, for real, I got involved in the civil rights movement. We have the eighth largest black population in America. Most people don't know that. And uh, I'd go to eight o'clock mass, then I'd go to Reverend Herring's church where we'd meet in order to organize and figure where we were going to go, whether we we're going to desegregate the Rialdo movie theater or what we were going to do. I got my education for real in the black church, and that's not hyperbole. It's and the New York Times reports, quote, more than once, advisors had gently reminded Mr. Biden of the problem with this formulation. He had not actually marched during the civil rights movement. And so now seeing that, and knowing that the president is running off of his record and Joe Biden can't run off of his record because it's abysmal and he's making this moral case. Um, since he's making a moral case, I think it's important to analyze if this is even a moral character. So, um, and if that's the campaign he's running, I think it's important for you guys to kind of explain something like this, right? So, so what do you think about him demeaning African-Americans like that? What do you think about him lying to black voters in a church about something so secret as a civil rights movement? So so what do you think about that Lavora Barnes? What do you think about that Gretchen Whitmer? What do you think about that Gary Peters? Um, is that the kind of man that you stand by, the man who's running for the for, to restore the soul of the nation? Uh, what do you think about that? Feel free to let us all know.